Alright everybody, Douglas Waltz. Old Man Comic Book Reviews, short stack. We'll start it off, Wonder Woman. Actually this is Sensational Wonder Woman, which I enjoy much more than the Wonder Woman comic book. We got uh, Amy Chu as the writer, Maria Laura Sanapo as the artist, and it uh, deals with Katie. Katie's this old lady. She's in her 90s. But Katie used to be friends with Wonder Woman. And now she's in an old folks home where things could be better. Okay. And it's sweet! I'm not going to give anything away. You should just buy this. It's a really sweet comic book. This is, this is probably the best issue so far of the five that they've made so far. Very good. Get that. That's very good. Alright. Thor and Loki Double Trouble. This is the last one. It's a four issue miniseries. Writer Mariko Tamaki. Artist Guriharu. I got that right. I don't know. And so we've got Girl Girl Thor, Boy Thor, Boy Loki, Girl Loki. And they're having um, adventures and the Lokis act very much like Lokis and the Thors act very much like Thor's, it was, a, it was a fun little adventure. I would read another one of these. It's very kid-friendly. Nothing weird going on. Good book. Children of the Atom. Children of the Atom, number five. We got, uh, let me make sure who we got for the things. For the whatnots and the who's there. Is the Vita Ayala is the writer. Paco Medina is the artist. It's really good art, by the way. I love Paco's art. This stuff's been around for a while, and it's the team end up getting rescued by the X-Men, which is interesting because they've named themselves after X-Men characters, like Lady Cyclops and things like that, but none of them are mutants. That's why they don't show up, but the, everybody shows up to save them from, from uh, the human, I think is what they're called. And then they just tell them, you guys need to behave and go home. You need to stop doing this nonsense. So uh, I don't I think they're going to. But uh, then uh, Storm shows up and invites one of the people in the team to the Hellfire Ball because there is a mutant in the team. And she hadn't told anybody. So she steers Storm showing up all tall and lanky, blowing somebody's cover. So, But then it says to be concluded. So I'm not happy that's to be concluded. I didn't think it was a miniseries. I thought it was a regular book. So I hope it's such an arc to be concluded. We'll find out. Trials of Ultraman. I think we got one or two more of these. I don't remember if this was to be concluded. Yes, concluded. They're five issue arcs. This is the second one, Trials of Ultraman. We have writers Kyle Higgins and Matt Groom, artist Francesco Mana, and... They are going to discover, basically, it's Ultraman. He has very little time frame he can play with. He, he cannot do it. Uh, but then this guy makes a fake kaiju and discovers that they have to, um, he has to interact. So if you love Ultraman, I like Ultraman. I'm a bigger Kamen Rider fan. The Ultraman's always the science fiction, big monsters, big Ultraman, the thing and stuff like that. Common Rider to me is more fun because it's like, here's 50 bucks in a motorcycle, go make a TV show. So I always like that one better. But this is good because, well, they haven't given me a Common Rider comic book, so what the hell, Marvel? All right, second issue of Betty Page in The Curse of the Banshee. Being, I always get the photo covers. I don't know if we've discussed that before, but I always get the photo covers, right? And written by Stephen Mooney, art by Jethro Morales. Uh, there's another nice picture of Betty right there in the front. I mean, we're really here for the, you know, the, the artwork. But she's always tough in this, and there's an actual Banshee. Betty goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Banshee, and the girl that they were helping last issue dies. And it's a time frame where men don't behave like they should towards women, and they're, they're jerks, basically. Uh, according to my good friend Holger Haas, assuming I said Holger's last name right, um, the guy who writes this, uh, what did I say his name was, Stephen Mooney, it, there's always going to be a banshee in it. Apparently, he puts a lot of uh, that kind of particular folklore into his books. 
So there's also zombies in this issue. So we'll see how that works. And then next issue, uh, yeah. It's my favorite part though is when the guys that were at the bar earlier in the first issue were like, you embarrass me in front of my friends. And Betty and her friend were like, okay, that's fine. And then they, they basically proceed to beat the snot out of these guys on the street until the cops show up. And then, and then they, uh, the cops let them go. They're like, yeah, you didn't really start anything. It's not your fault. So it's, it's always good. Betty Page is always a good book. It's always interesting to read. Um, I always get the photo cover because look at her. Look at her for crying out loud. So that's it. That's what we got. Short stack. No, I don't know how many are next week. Tell you to go buy some comic books, but you won't listen. I know. Sorry. Right. No, go buy some comic books. And for Sophie and Fiona, thanks for coming over this weekend. We had fun for your birthday. Tomorrow you'll be seven. So that'll be fun. We got you way too much stuff. So, but we would buy it anyways. So there you go. And I will see you next week with more uh, Old Man Comic Book Reviews. Goodbye.